So okay guys, um, I went ahead and made some changes to the design, not to the design itself, but I uh, made some changes to the chassis. Uh, we were having some issues and uh, with the suspension in the rear being so soft, the chassis itself was twisting, you know, with the torque on the motor, was twisting to the left and it was loading this front left tire, which was causing the vehicle to veer to the left. Uh, I went ahead and made these uh, braces here. They replaced the shocks because I didn't want to go in there and just, you know, make them solid. Uh, so pretty much just running with solid uh, suspension in the rear. So if the chassis wanted to actually flex to the side, it would actually have to take the axle with it to flex. And that's not going to be possible because the chassis is connected to the motor. So that's taken care of by making the rear uh, solid suspension. You still have the control in the front which is more than enough for what we're doing. Um, I went ahead and swapped to the 2S battery. Um, I get a lot of people that, you know, say, you know, you're going to burn the other ESC and uh, they're concerned that I'm going to destroy it. So I went ahead and swapped the ESC. Not that it was necessary at the time, but I figured i go overkill because there's going to be a lot of testing done in this guy and um, I really don't want to burn the ESC if there is a chance of burning it. So. I decided to go overkill. So I went with a 60 amp ESC, which is a one tenth scale ESC. And uh, I even put a BEC in there. And I'm running five volts to the servo and to the receiver. And I'm running a 2S battery right now. It's a small 350 milliamp hour battery. Um, I wanted to show you, you don't need a really big battery. These are really quick runs and you can do a whole bunch of them. Um, like I said, it's running 2S. So just for the testing purposes it's uh it's not going to be ridiculously powerful like it was on the last video because um as you guys already saw it's really hard to control in this you know narrow of a uh, track so i figured i could control the 2s a lot better um that's not to say that i'll do a good job but i'll try and um it should be plenty of speed anyways to get it to work so let's go ahead and throw it in there You can see I was able to control it and I was able to get enough speed. Alright, right there I messed up because uh, <laughs> that was driver error. So as you can see, it works. Um, one thing that I do have to fix is in here. Um, so you can see I put the um, shrink tube in there to protect it from kicking out that little pin. But the shrink tube, because of the angle, is uh, kind of breaking off. And that's not going to hold forever. So I'm going to have to come up with a better way of doing that. Uh, probably getting a thin uh, rubber hose or something like something really thin that's not gonna create a lot of restriction in it but that it's not gonna come you know break so I'm thinking just a little hose or something you know rubber or I don't know something but I'll fix that um, so right now the vehicle is working Got plenty of speed. Oh, this also uh, is a good time to show. As fast as these tires are going, they're not spreading. That's why I went with the uh, solid uh, material on these tires. Um, if it was rubber, it would expand, it would hit the body, and it would be really hard to control, you know, when you're taking off. So that worked out. So, anyways, the vehicle's working. Um, I'll try the 3S once I come up with a solution for this because um, like I said I don't trust this very much and if I lose that little pin that's it I have to get another dry shaft um, but I don't know I'm happy with it uh, you guys can't see it from the way that I was recording it but it does develop some some speed even at a uh, 2S so 3S this thing has to be a lot of fun uh, but anyways that's where we're at Thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed.